Hello, welcome to my new series, where I'll be showcasing top 3 The Binding of Isaac mods from the last week, according to the Steam Workshop. Let's begin. Mod number 1, Salvation Mod. Salvation is a mod that aims to be an alternative of the tainted characters, but instead of getting more broken, they become more innocent. So far, there's only one character, this character being Azazel. But in the near future, every character will have the repented version. To unlock repented characters, play as a normal variant of the character and bomb devil statues to get the special key pieces. Then go to the big golden door in the chest or the dark room. So now I'll use the debug console to showcase how it's done. As you can see, this boss is pretty tanky, and the hitboxes aren't forgiving, but hopefully that changes in the future updates. And now that we have unlocked Repented Azazel, we can choose him from the character menu. This character starts with Flight, 3 Black Hearts, the Full Card, and a modified version of the Mouse Knife that shoots Spirit Swords projectiles. There's nothing really crazy about this character. It starts with 2.07 EMG, but the upgraded Mammoth Knife makes the lack of damage bearable. Also, this mod adds 10 new items alongside Azazel starter item, which will be showcased right now. The first item this mod added is the Apocalyptic Horn. It has 4 charges, and with each use it cycles between 7 different effects that deal damage to the enemies or spawn friendly mobs that will help us out. For the purpose of showcasing this item, I'm going to use console command debug A that gives me unlimited item charges. Bloody Charm is letting us collect blood particles from the enemies we hurt, and the more blood we collect, the more stat ups we will get. But beware, because if you stop killing enemies, you will lose all your blood gain.
Revival Spell resurrects you from the dead with a cost of one Hulk container. If you run out of Hulk containers, the item will resurrect you one more time, destroying itself in the process, leaving you with one full heart. Bloody Petri Dish is an active item that doesn't require any battery charges. Instead, you use your hearts to create blood claws that last for one room and have a 30% chance of dropping a random heart upon exiting the room the claw got spawned in. Shattered Halo increases your damage upon taking a Devil Deal, for the cost of some range stat. It also works with the Angel Deals, but it's the other way around, taking away your damage but increasing your range. This one is very straightforward. Face Baby reflects enemy stairs that hit it and shoots them back at them. Wicked Bombs give you plus 5 bombs, and your bombs inflict fear and poison on your enemies. It also works with Dr. Fetus. Rubik's Cube is a quality 4 item, but I couldn't really get it to work, and it has no description. So if you know how to use this item properly, please tell me in the comments. The last two items added by this mod are the special key pieces that let you unlock the repented characters. You can get them by blowing up the devil statue in the devil room. Mod number 2, Tusked Level 2 Charger. This mod is just a Charger Level 2 Restrike, but it's found its way on the list of the best Mod number 3, Spongebob Disappointed Sound, for zero quality items. This is the last mod on our list for today, and it adds a disappointment sound from Spongebob for finding a quality zero items. That's gonna be it for the video, thank you all for watching and see you next week. Also, if you have any ideas on how can I improve as a person on YouTube, you can type them down in the comments, I read them. Thank you.